Hey, welcome to this Windows channel, and this is a look at a other antivirus, the MSysoft Anti-Malware, uh, basically antivirus program. This is not free, and I've uh, downloaded following requests of uh, many of you that wanted to uh, have a uh, have me take a look at it and what I think. So, uh, first of all, no junkware, nothing uh, bad with this piece of software. It's very straight to the, um, the fact of it's, you know, a software to prevent viruses and malware. And that's the main thing that this does. It does not have a firewall, and a lot of uh, protections have firewall. This one does not have a firewall, but once again, you know what, I don't really like um, software firewalls, I'd rather uh, rely on the router's firewall, which is the best firewall basically you can have. In the uh, test with the ACAR file where I downloaded a file, created a virus file, and downloaded a zipped version of this file, the software immediately found it and removed it. So I was not able to click on it to, to do something with it it immediately said, hey, no, this is no good. I'm putting this in quarantine. So I couldn't click on it or anything, and that's really good. So for detection of viruses, it seems to be real good. A very low footprint in the processor, less than 2% most of the time. Memory usage, 40 megabytes, uh, which is low compared to a lot of other antiviruses, actually the lowest of all the antiviruses I've seen. Um, one thing about the scan, it scanned uh, my 2.3 gigabyte folder. Uh, it scanned in 10 seconds. And that is something that leaves me a little perplexed. Uh, it seems that it, I don't know, maybe because it scanned it before. Because I've actually tried three times and noticed that it's faster all the time. So I'm actually thinking that there is probably... Um, a scan that was done for that and basically it simply just went through and said well there's no changes so there's no antivirus or there's no viruses or malware in here so uh, I would guess that's what's happening here when I look at it because it's like 11 seconds which is a little fast compared to everybody else it's like two minutes two minutes and a half like they take more time to uh, scan it so I probably guess that it's already been um, scanned and it knows that there's nothing bad in there. Startup impact. Now, according to the task manager, the startup impact of the anti-malware is high. So if you go into startup here and we look at it, we see that uh, the process of the MSoft real-time protection is high. Yet, um, even though it says high here, um, it's actually less of a problem than other antiviruses uh, that I've checked, including uh, Bitdefender. So it's not too bad. It is a little slower at startup, yes, but you know it's respectable. I'd say that it's not that bad, actually. Um, easy to install. Pretty easy to understand how it works and what it does. Uh, it's you know very straightforward interface here, that's for sure. Um, basically, it gives you all the information you need, and you have the quarantine log in the malware objects log. So you see here, it's detected the malware, malicious items, and malware that I've sent to it intentionally. Uh, so it works pretty well. Um, for malware, really good. I've downloaded my two files, uh, including Scam Studio that I know has some undesirable software bundle with it. And um, the only negative side is that it let me download it and it didn't say nothing. It said something when I clicked on it. So, okay, it does protect you, but compared to uh, the Chinese Total Security, for example, that immediately told me, or AVG uh, Internet Security that immediately told me as I was downloading. It does lack a little bit here. I shouldn't be able to download it. It should block it before it's on the computer itself. But yet, it's still detected. So it's quite good because it does see it 
but I had to click on it. So that's a little scary when you think of it. Um, so it's not as effective as uh, some others on that. So basically, uh, this is a pretty good antivirus. I've, uh, I, I, I didn't, um, I, I knew this anti-malware existed, but uh, I uh, never had tried it before. So if you got this on your computer, it's actually a pretty good antivirus. I think it protects you well, and um, you know it has a few flaws, but no no software is perfect, no firewall, but it works well, and uh, I think it's worth it for what it is. And um, you know when you're using your computer, it actually has a very good uh, you know speed. The computer is not slowed down or anything, so it seems to do its job and do it well uh, with the little icon here. So. MCSoft Anti-Malware, I give it a score of 8 out of 10, and the reason I'm not giving it a 9 like the 360 total security is the fact that I had to click to have it detect the malware in, the, 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 in what I've downloaded, uh, and also the uh, fact that it doesn't have a firewall, I give it you know, like 0.5 less if it doesn't have a firewall, even though it's not something that's uh, major. But a score of 8 out of 10 is pretty good for an antivirus, I think. So uh, really, really nice. I think this is a great piece of software. Check it out. It's worth it. Um, it's really worth it. And it does the job very, very well. So MCSoft Anti-Malware, I'll put the download link uh, for those that would like to try it out and see for themselves and um, hope you enjoy the videos if you do please give us thumbs up if you enjoy my videos you can subscribe you'll know when new videos are online and thanks for watching hope you enjoy my videos and if you have any comments suggestions anything you want to know let us know